Welcome back to Houston, everybody. A devastating loss to the Ducks in the Year 5 playoffs. Round 1 sees the Hammerheads in another offseason here. Stanley Cupless. And there was some debates about DiPietro. But for the most part, I think the consensus is to give him another shot. Um, I did see something about his poise, and that definitely does affect stats. Especially in pressure games, which the playoffs. Uh-huh. So, yeah, if he has... Low poise, and that's not good. But maybe Teal, Teal might even spike up and be our starter next year. Who really knows, honestly? So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Um, and just to clear up any confusion, I remember I saw a comment saying that players don't spike up when you trade for them. Uh, if you have morale on, they do. So um, an example of that is last episode when we traded for Raymond. He was an 83 overall. And the instant he was on our team, he was an 88 overall. I guess his morale jumped up and he was ready to go with a new squad. So, yeah, my GM notes, I have qualify new hook, assuming that he is going to be an RFA. And, um, yeah, I said I guess we'll give Mikey another go and check the playoff stats as well. So let's do that. Playoff stats. Let me bring my notes over here so I don't have to turn my head so much to read them. Okay. So, Miro with three points, 89 overall, a boy. Lucas Raymond put up two, okay. Barzell with two. Newhook did put up two, but he was a dash three, but it's not like anyone else did very good in that department either. So, you know what? He actually, he did all right for 86 overall. Yeah, I think he did okay. 79 for faceoffs is pretty decent too. He is 25. Hopefully, he's uh, an RFA. How do you, can you check that? Is there any way to check that? Well, uh, he's probably a UFA actually. Damn. Okay, well, I don't know. We might sign him. We'll see. Boss is 87 overall. He put up one point and was a dash five. Lundestrom was a dash five as well. Oh, my word. Okay, yep. It's been a giant. He's up to 84 now, which is nice. Put up one point, though. Olafsson still at 85. Okay, so actually, I'll just show you all the stats in case you're curious about anyone in specific. Robert Thomas didn't get a single point. Had a boy. Proud of you, kid. And... Yeah, Kavanov, still 84, medium elite potential is there, however. Okay, so yeah, let's look at the goalies real quick. 879, 335, just not getting it done, Mikey. But we'll try to give you another go here. Let's have a look. His poise is currently 80. That's not that low. It's not great, but it's definitely not good. I think it's actually his lowest stat by the looks of it. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, what about, let me check Teal. I'm curious to see what teal has for poise so let's go here let's go to goalies and teal so he's 81 overall which i think he actually went down in overall what the heck 69 poise oh no oh no oh no okay well that's not good <laughs> whatever it is what it is and yeah i guess the only thing to do now is the draft so let's do it i think i'm just gonna skip the draft interviews because for the most part we know the players we want to go after, so... Yeah, I'm going to try going after them. And I know that you guys want me to check the retired players here as well. So we got Ovechkin with 1,778 points. Malkin, uh, 1425. Giroux there as well. He ended up finishing on the Flyers, which I think he's going to get traded at this year's deadline. Or at least that's what the consensus is. Uh, Phil Kessel, 1,055. One more point than Jonathan Taves. Oshi as well. So yeah, there's actually a lot of players retiring this year. Holy crap. Okay, there you go. And if we go to the goaltenders, we've got Flurry. He's retiring at the young age of 41. Atta boy. Craig Anderson retiring at 45. And then we got Talbot as well. Alrighty. Nice. So let's get up to the draft. And no, I'm not even going to bother. Let's just do it. Mm-hmm. Start that draft, baby. Okay, here we go. So, um, I don't think we really care for anything too much in the... Like, we're not going to try to move up in the first round. We have a decent enough prospect pool that we're just going to stay where we are and sort of make it work. So, I'm going to sim to our pick, 22, and we're already at medium top nines. Incredible. Love that. Okay, let's sort by this. So, we have um, a medium elite, but it's not guaranteed. A goaltender here. Okay. Now, he's not supposed to go till very late, though. So, definitely uh, definitely not. <laughs> Holy crap, I can't speak. Okay. Uh, Beret. He's supposed to go at, like, 30. Let's sort by this rank here. So, we got 
This man, this guy is considered a bust. Hmm. No, I don't want to take him if he's considered a bust. I don't trust that. I don't trust like that. Okay. Um, I got this guy here who's probably a medium top nine. He seems like he could be okay. Left wing. Possibly a sniper. We don't even know. We also got Tavares down here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Let's start by our pin players again. So, the first player we have going is at 44. Yuri Sokolov, who's a medium top four defenseman. So, we're at pick 22. So, he's literally supposed to go in double. But I'd like to try and get him. So, I'd probably try to get like the 40th pick or something like that. Um, okay. Let us... He's considered a gem, though. Should I just take him now and get it over with? It's a little early, but... Uh, maybe... Okay, we'll take a risk on... This lad here, maybe. The Fantastic Finn. Pyorla. And see how that goes. And then I'll try to move up for that other guy. So let's make that pick. He is a medium top 9 left wing playmaker. 62 overall. That's not bad. He's already got 73 poise. Okay, I'll take that. He's also only 17, so he's really young. And, okay, what pick should we try to get here? Round two. Hmm. Remember there's a guy named, like, Bohinski as well. Okay, can we sim up to this pick or trade for this pick? Their second rounder. It actually has a decent amount of value, and they don't want to get rid of it, which doesn't help our case. Let's see if there's anyone who wants to get rid of their second. Seattle. They do not. Okay. Is there, like, a easier way to do this? Oh, there is. If I would just... <laughs> See who the teams are. Okay, so we have... I We probably want to get, like, the top four. Yeah, with this little target thing. I don't know what it means, but... Probably somewhere in there. So, we can check Detroit, Buffalo. And see if either of them want to. Detroit doesn't want to. And... What about Buffalo? I doubt they're going to want to either. They're probably going to want to keep it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Draft picks. Oh, they do! They do want to get rid of it. Okay, that helps us. That definitely helps us. Um, what do you want? The third. I don't want to give you any of our picks, really. See who's matching the block. Anyone I'm willing to give up. Alex Newhook. No, just kidding. Even though he wants absolutely ridiculous money, still not willing to get rid of him. Robert Thomas. I don't want to get rid of you either. All righty. Well. What can we give up is the question. Like, I guess we could give up our second. Even though they don't want our second, we could give that to them. And kind of try to sweeten it up with some other player. Davies, we already have a medium top four. Hmm. Robert Thomas has been causing us some problems with our lineups. That's for sure. But I think that he's got 87 poise, which I like a lot. And 75 faceoffs isn't bad. He got a decent amount of points last year, but we also played him on, like, the third line. So, um, let me check our defense real quick. We've got, sort by overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we could just play Addison in the NHL again next year, maybe. Try to get rid of Hag, who is now 27. That's not really going to do much for us, though. Oh, they'd have... Nice. Amazing. Love that. Skaters matching the block. Yeah. Okay. This isn't really going to help us. Hmm. I'll take this guy. Nope, that still doesn't work because they'd be over the cap. Amazing. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? Give me a second. I'll try to figure something out here and I'll come back to you guys. 34 is when he's supposed to go. Yeah, he would have been a medium top four. He has two abilities. Dang, that would have been a good guy to just grab over the medium top nine. I took a risk and it did not pay off, but I think it was a worthy risk. Okay, so he's supposed to go 34. Yeah, so that Buffalo pick. Actually, that might even be too late. So we got 32 here. Oh, man. We'd have to try and get, like, one of these two and just hope that they don't take them. Crap. Okay, well... Do any of these guys want to get rid of their picks? The Leafs, Panthers... Okay, they want to get rid of their first, which is nice. But what do they want from us? Oh, you know what? I'd be willing to part ways with Hannafin. He can go. But they'd be over the cap. By quite a bit, might I add. Uh, how many years does Hannafin have left? He has five years left at 7.8. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can get back, though. Maybe they have some players here that have low value and a high cap and only one year left. Anyone? Any takers? 
2.5 for Owen Tippett. He's actually 84 overall, though. And I don't see a whole lot that will help us out here. Okay. Lundell, but his trade value is good. Yeah, so that's just not going to happen. Hmm. Man, this is just not working, no matter what we try to do. Doomlin. He's got three years left on that deal, though. That is a rough go. All right. Well, hmm. Let me try to see if Toronto wants to get rid of their pick. I kind of doubt it. Or Edmonton. Edmonton, Toronto, or the Jets. They do as well. They have a lot of cap space. They might actually be able to take him. Okay, this could work if they want him. Defense, and they want him. That's good. They'd have more than 45 skaters. All right. Who's matching your block? Anyone worth grabbing? Another medium top four defenseman here? <laughs> uh, maybe. He's got three years left. He's already 76 overall. We could try. I don't think that'll go through. And they'd be over the cap. Lovely. So, no. Definitely not going to work out. Okay, we could get a low top six. Let's go to their skaters in general. See if they have anyone once again making too much. One year left or something. Zadorov. He's got three years left. And... Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it just did that. All right. Time to try this again. Also, why is McDavid's trade value so low? Is it because he's making $12 million or what? But then dry so That is... That's whack. That is... Something is wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm not going to take advantage of that because that is just silly. And is there any players here? Someone right near the bottom, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. Gaudette. What about this guy? He could work. Let's try to grab him. And they would still be over the cap. What if I grab Gaudette and the other guy? Whoever it was. I can't remember his name. Wasn't really looking. It was Cousins. Or we could grab Carlson. One year left as well. Still no. They'd be over the maximum salary cap. So we need to grab someone who is making like maybe two to three million and doesn't have a lot of value to them. Zadorov would work. How many years does he have left? Three. That is kind of rough. And it looks like that might be our only option. Zadorov. And then we're getting a good defenseman in return, though, and basically freeing up some cap space for a defenseman that I have been openly saying I'm willing to get rid of. He's only got 70 discipline. Not a lot of points last year. It was a dash three. Hmm. Is it worth it? Maybe. Three years left, though. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's um, <laughs> let's try the, the... We're going to get booted again in a second here. Let's try Toronto and then the Jets. Even the Yotes would work, but we're moving up too much then. Okay. They don't have a whole lot of cap space, so... Uh, was it the Jets? Winnipeg? They don't look like they want to get rid of their pick. Oh, they don't... Wait, what? Oh, this is ours. Okay, oops. Draft picks. Yeah, they don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so that's not going to work. Arizona... Do they want to get rid of theirs? They do, it looks like. They do. Okay. And what about... Oh, yeah, how many cap space they have? Not a lot. Crap, man. <laughs> this is just not working out for us. Any decent cap space here that we can take on for one year? No, no. Graves. That's two years. And then... Oh, okay. Here's one. That's two years as well at three million for Gustafson. And we scroll right to the bottom. Holy crap. That's a rough go. He's 84 overall, though. But yeah, probably not going to work. Rodriguez. Will that make it work? No, it won't. Just looking at it now. It's still not going to work. Okay. Throw Hannafin in there. And yeah, be above the cap. So was that $6 million? Oh, my goodness. We are running out of time here. I do want to try to get him because he's basically guaranteed to have two abilities. So... Let's throw in Hannafin, yes, and let's try to bring back that player that had the $6 million. Was he more than one year? Let's have a double take on that, and Schmaltz, he is, okay, let's try it. Yep, I'll do it. I'm an absolute mad lad, because he's already 84 overall. He looks decent, you know? If he, like, I think he's running up this year, which means we'd have to re-sign him. So we could just let him go and basically trade Hannafin for a first. Let's see if it'll even go through. Um, okay. 
Absolute no-brainer. Chill out, dog. Okay, let's uh, let's advance to the pick. Send to pick 29. Okay, and let's grab our boy. Pinned. And where are you? I try. I want to try and get Sokolov as well. Okay, Bohinski. Grab him. Make that pick. All right, he's a medium top four already. 69 overall, and he does have two abilities. That is good. Nice. I will definitely take that. And then for uh, Sokolov, we kind of need like a mid-second round pick. And the Rangers want to get rid of theirs. So let's go to draft picks. They don't want our second. They want our third. Um, I'll give you like a next year's third just to get, it, get the ball rolling here. Skaters matching the block. What else can we give up? Suzuki. Should we just like call it with this guy? He doesn't even add that much value though. Like it's probably still not even going to go through. Or they'll say it's a no-brainer. Because he does have the medium top six, 78. He doesn't seem to be... 99 discipline! Holy crap! This guy just doesn't take penalties. All right, I refuse to get rid of him. Never mind, he's staying. He is a part of the boys now. I'll play him on the NHL team next year. And we could... Connor Brown. He's on a great contract. So I'm keeping him. Olafsson. It's on a bit of an expensive contract there, but I'll keep him for now. We will end up parting ways with him, I'm sure. But for now, he stays. Roslevic is... Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep him for now as well. You guys did want me to trade away some of the players that are in the AHL, right? So, I could give them Hagel, but this is his last year. I don't even think it's going to make it... Like, they're not going to be down. We'll try it. And trade rejected. No, didn't think so. So, what else can we give them? Even if they don't match the block. We just need to give them something. Actually, what about goalies? I haven't really looked at goalies matching the block. Di Pietro, uh-uh, don't think so. Anyone else? There's no one else with any trade value, really. We have a low starter here. Uh, what else can we do? Should we maybe just not get Sokolov? I don't want to give up too much, you know? I don't want to make too many moves here that we don't need. He is a medium top four defenseman, but he didn't look like he was going to have any abilities. Yeah, you know what? We already got our medium top four defenseman. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to trade too much away so let us just sim to pick 55 and let's see where he went what, what's his name again uh sokolov there he is oh he went right at that pick too he is medium top four 63 overall defensive defenseman yeah i'm not too upset about that one all right well time for us to draft again and let's sort by the pinned here so we don't really have anyone going super soon evans at 84 let us sort by this almond Supposed to go at 204. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm not going to take him yet. Although I would be kind of down. I could take this gem. 84. Like we'd be getting him early. When's our next pick? Like if I sim options. Sim to pick 88. And he is supposed to go at. What was it? I think it was like low 80s right? So he'd probably go right before. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I, I know you guys are saying to pay attention to this category, but I'm just going to take him anyway. He is considered a gem. And let's see if he... Oh my word. Franklin Evans, medium elite, baby. Six foot six, number 69. And he is an absolute beautician. All right. Well then. Gem is correct. That is a proper statement. No thank you. Let's go. Third round pick now. We are at number 88. And let us sort by our pin players here. Um, basically a guaranteed medium starter. Yeah. And, okay. So nothing really going on there. Hodgson is actually on the front page there. But that was just sorted by potential. He's got the low elite. Okay. What should we do here? Who is the next expected person to go? We could grab Igor Nisimov. A guaranteed... Medium starter goalie. Strength of competition was an A+. Plus. NHL ready in three years. Takes winning seriously. Has an incredible drive to win. But loyalty is a concern. He's also six foot four. He's a pretty large guy. Hmm. What about Hodgson? When's our next pick? Because I think we have to take one or the other. And uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to sim options. Um, next pick is 121. So yeah, it's one or the other. Crap. Do we take the medium starter goalie? Or do we take... Wait a minute. Hold on. No, I wanted to sort by... Was it this then? 
Medium top six, power forward. Basically guaranteed to be medium top six. Yeah. You know what? He's five years to NHL ready, but maybe I should just take this guy. Also, Ukraine. So that would be good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to take him. Although, the medium starter would be nice. Um... No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to take the medium top six. Let's do it. He's a power forward, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, here you go. Welcome to the team. Medium top six, right wing power forward, 52 overall. Love to see it. All right, let's sim to next pick. And no, thank you. I want to make as many draft picks as I can this year. Okay, so this is the guy we've been watching. He's actually expected to go somewhere around here. He's 117. Medium fringe starter, six foot three. He had wow a plus competition and put up a nine thirteen two fifty seven. That is good. Three years till NHL ready. All right, welcome to the team, sir. There you go. He's already sixty four overall. That is very nice. So wrap pick one fifty four, and I am going to sort by potential. And I'm going to take Jude Almond. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. He's been sitting here for so long. I don't want him to miss out anymore. His strength competition was a D, but his stats were pretty good. He's five years till NHL ready, but he could possibly be medium elite. So let us see. Yes, he is. He's only 50 overall, but he's medium elite, baby. Okay. That is trade value right there. Six foot four. What a legend. Okay. This has been a good draft. Sim to 187. Let's see what else we could do here. Is there any other players pinned? No, we are out on those. So now it is free-for-all. A free-for-all. Should I take a risk on Trent Moore, too? Low elite grinder. He's supposed to go 229. Let's see. How accurate are our scouts, even though they aren't confident? Oh, baby! 68 overall. Low elite grinder Trent Moore. Wow. And let us go to... No, thank you. Round seven, I don't even care what happens here. We could get nothing for all I care. And I'm going to be so down. And it doesn't look like there's a lot of guaranteed going on here. Uh, medium top nine. Not guaranteed though. Norm Yip. What a cool name. Uh, what should we do? We're guaranteed a low top nine here. Which honestly, for the seventh round, isn't bad. Five years till NHL ready... And has a very well-rounded personality. Would mesh well in any locker room. They don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm just going to grab him. Play it safe. A low top nine. Yeah. That was a very solid draft in my opinion. Very solid indeed. Okay. Wow. I will take that. <laughs> I will definitely take that. So let us sim up to the resign phase and see... Uh, okay, go to the scouts here. Actually, I'll do all this later. I'll do the, the scouts and whatnot at a later date. But it is time for the re-sign phase. I'll do the, the scouts and the coaches and stuff off the recording because it's not really worth it. So lucky for us, Newhook is an RFA. So I am qualifying him. And I did his amount drop? Oh, yeah. Imagine we signed him for 11 million. Imagine that. That would have been nuts. Kavanaugh's going to want to bump next year for sure. And then we have Schmaltz here, 84. He is done. Should we bring him in? Depends how much he wants. How much do you want, Schmaltz? That's not, that's not a lot, but six years. Holy. Oh. Okay, well, I could get him at one year for something or two years. I think we're finally going to let McLeod walk because he doesn't really seem... He has 88 face-offs, though. I do love that for him. Oh, man. Let's let's look at all our positions here. So, centers, sort by overall. We've got one, two, three, four. But th these two guys could play wing as well. So, if we're lacking wingers, then we're good on that category. Plus, I wanted to bring Suzuki up, and that does not look like it's going to happen. Left wing. Let's go to the top. So, okay. We actually are pretty weak on the left side. So, we could have centers playing left wing. Right wing. Let's have a look. Roslevic. Okay, we have some good right-wingers. <laughs> Crap. I keep forgetting about Connor Brown, too. And what should we do? What should we do? You know what? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Next video is just going to be a short re-sign kind of thing. But I want your guys' opinions on everything we should do. So, 
Should we sign Schmaltz? Should we not? Um, McLeod, I'll show you how much he wants as well. He doesn't want anything. He wants 2.2. So that is very good. Rozovic doesn't want to re-sign. I think I'm finally going to let Roz... You know what? I'm making the executive decision now. See you later, Rozovic. Doesn't want to re-sign. He's going to give us a tough time. Just not worth it. Trent Frederick, we could bring him in for the NHL or the AHL. He wants a two-way contract, so I'm just going to offer that to him now. And do you want a two-way contract as well? Yes, you do. So all the two-way contracts, I'll just sign them now. Yep. There you go. Force back at Carlson. There you go. And the new hook was... Um, the new hook contract was 7.8 now instead of 11 million, I think. So that's good. But I'm pretty sure he's still listed as not wanting to re-sign. So we'll have to see if we want to match an offer or if you guys want to try getting him. But we'll have to offer him more than what he is currently asking, which is a rough go. Uh, Dzingle, if you want to do a contract, yes, you do. Okay, I guess I don't really need to do this on camera. I could do this off camera, and they're most likely going to accept. I don't think we have to worry about that. I'm going to double-check the goalies as well. Oh, he wants a one-way. Okay, never mind. Um, sort by potential. So, we have medium elite Evans here, and more at low elite. Okay, so that's good. And then we have uh, medium top six, Lysel. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's try to get this guy back. I don't want to... Okay, let's offer him just a one-year deal for that. Yeah, there you go. He does have two abilities, which is nice. And you're still good. You're still good. We've got a low top six in Yoshi. We could bring this guy in. It's not going to hurt. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And yeah, Schmaltz. Okay, so it's basically down to this uh, part of the contracts already. Medium top four defenseman. Okay, I'm bringing you in for sure. Yep, there you go. And medium top four defenseman again. Yeah, absolutely. Signing you. Because I don't want you to be a UFA. Oh my word, when did we get this guy? Five abilities, what the heck? That wasn't this year's draft, was it? 2024, so I would, no, I don't think so. No, it was like a couple years ago. Wow. Okay, good thing I spotted him. Yeah, alright. So that should be good. And then, I want to check the goalies quick. Goaltenders. So we've got... This guy is running up. Medium fringe starter. 64 overall. Sure. Maybe you'll pan out. Maybe you won't. I guess we will find out. Mm, not really going to worry about Hudobin. We have a bunch of goalies here that are... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Okay. So that is that. And Almond. <laughs> medium elite. Not going to sign him yet, of course. We're going to have to re-sign Teal next year, which is going to be a fairly large deal. So we want to... Try to stay within the cap as much as possible, or keep as much cap as we can. So Schmaltz at like a one-year deal would be a good idea, because we do have Teal running up next year. We have Lundestrom, but we could just let Lundestrom walk. He's not like a key part of the team, really. So yeah, you guys have seen pretty much everything. Let me know, what should we do with the contracts? Please comment so that we can get this sorted out together. I'm just going to advance a day, and I'm assuming all these guys are going to re-sign. Oh, we got one no there, another no, but that's okay, because it's just the players that are basically the AHL guys. Yeah, Hosang, Del Cole, that's okay. They can they can walk. I don't really <laughs> care that much. I'm not going to be too upset. Definitely replaceable in free agency. Um, should we bring back McLeod? And should we get Schmaltz? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.